This Go Ruck Sandbag workout is a 30 minute long workout with as many rounds as possible consisting of five different exercises. Those exercises are the squat thruster, the push up, the lunge, the flutter kick, and finally the 400 meter ruck. Each exercise is 10 repetitions, as many rounds as possible in 30 minutes. Hey guys, so check it out. What I'm gonna do is give you some tips and tricks on exactly what the movements are supposed to look like and how to execute them properly and safely. First up is the thruster. You're gonna approach the sandbag, feet about shoulder width apart. When you bend down, keep that chest tall, head looking straight. You're gonna bring it up, flip it over, catch it in the front rack position. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna drop down, keeping that chest tall again to the bottom of a squat. Once your, your butt gets below parallel past your knee, that's the bottom of your, your rep. You're gonna then thrust up head up, looking straight. When you come up, you're gonna use that momentum and you're gonna drive your head through the window. When you return it back to the front rack, that's one rep. Give them a few in a row and I'll show them so they can see what it looks like. When you're doing this, think about keeping the weight back in the heel, back in the back of your foot, so that you're driving up with those heels. You don't wanna come up, ball your foot and fall forward. It'll start, you know, your, your chest will start stagging. It's not good stuff. Go ahead and set her down, Garrett. Up next is the push up. Garrett likes to go ahead and just bring it up, flip it all the way on his back right across his shoulders. He's now gonna get out, down on the ground and start the push-up position. Elbows are locked out, tight core, feet no more than 12 inches apart. Drop down once your chest hits the ground or your elbows break parallel, that's the bottom, and then you're gonna lock it back out to the top. Give me three more, Garrett. Like, what you wanna do here is you wanna keep the core as tight as possible. You don't wanna do any of this like weird worm stuff, right? So it's like an actual push-up. If it's too heavy, lighten it up. That's the great thing about sandbag workouts. Go ahead and set her down. Up next, we have the alternating single leg lunge. You're gonna bring that up to the front rack just like you've done for the, first, for the thruster. You're then gonna step out with whatever leg you choose. Not, not shooting your foot out too far, not too close. You want that foot right under your knee. You're then gonna come back up. Go with the other foot now. You have to do both legs for it to count as one rep. So it's like one, two, and then that's one. So you're really kind of doing like 20 reps on this one. Keep your chest tall. You don't want to fall forward on this one either. Movement number four, the flutter kick. Everybody loves them, kinda. Get on your back, extend that, that sandbag above your chest, elbows locked out, feet are gonna start about six inches apart. You're gonna start alternating your legs in a scissor-like motion. This is a four count exercise, so you're gonna count it out like this. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Keep going, Garrett. So you're doing more than just 10 singles. You're gonna, you know, 40 is kinda how it works out. But when you're doing this, think about keeping your legs straight. You don't want your feet hitting the ground. Keep that torque cut, core tight, and your elbows fully locked out. Stand up. Once you're done with your, your 10 reps of the flutter kick, you're gonna pick up that ruck. You're gonna go out for about a 400 meter ruck. Round the block is usually about 400 meters. It's a quarter mile, so you can adjust accordingly, go as heavy or as light as you want. When you get back, that's the end of round one. You have the remainder of your time to get as many rounds as possible. Once the time expires, however many rounds plus the reps you got through in your current round, that's your score.